We are ready. Questions for Coach Stotts? Hey, just before we start, please be concise and clear with your questions. We got a lot of questions to go, so I'd like to get through them all. Go ahead. First question is coming from Dan Wojcicki with the Los Angeles Times. Harry, um, I think it was after the Memphis game that you kind of joked about your defense and had to pull down your mask to show that you were laughing. Um, yeah, like that. <laughs> um, what was what, what do you credit the turnaround to tonight? Well, um, honestly, uh, the Lakers didn't shoot the three well. Uh, it, it seems like we've been a little snake bit by uh, how well teams have shot the three against us. Um, you know, our analytics say that we're we're doing a good job of contesting, and the uh, teams have been making threes. So, obviously, tonight uh, the three point line made a difference, uh, but. Uh, I, I liked our physicality defensively. Uh, we played a big lineup a lot, and uh, I thought that worked well for us. But um, you know, it's, I think more than anything else, is we're just we were really locked in on trying to take away some of the things that we had talked about pregame. Next question is coming from Jason Quick with the Athletic. Coach, how would you describe what Hassan did tonight for you, and then also what's it been like? coaching him this year? Coaching Hassan? Yeah. Uh, first of all, tonight, uh, I mean, obviously it's a team win, but uh, he had a big impact on the game. Uh, you know, he and Nurk together complement each other. They found ways to be effective at both ends. Uh, came up with a big block, some big rebounds. Uh, as far as coaching him this year, you know, he's, look, the guy led the league in, uh, before the hiatus, he's led the league in rebounding and, and uh, block shots. So he's obviously had an impact. Um, and he's been, uh, he's been good to coach. He's been very coachable. Uh, so um, we're glad we have him, obviously. The next question is coming from Dwight Jaynes with NBC Sports Northwest. Terry, for the longest time in this game, neither team was making shots, uh, particularly from three-point range. Can, can you attribute that to just like first game of the playoffs, or or is that good defense, or what what was the cause of that? Um, probably a little bit of everything. Uh, I thought uh, it was a very intense game. Is uh, everybody's playing hard? I, I thought fatigue may have played a part of it. Um, you know, the first game of the playoffs that that's could be part of it. I don't know. It's uh, uh, it's hard to say. Uh, you know, I'll watch the film and see how many were open threes and contested threes and things like that. But uh, just from our standpoint, I thought we, uh, uh, I thought we, we were patient. I thought we got a lot of good looks on the weak side later in the game. Um, but I thought both teams really, uh, was, the Lakers did a nice job of scrambling and contesting our threes. Um, but I don't know. It's you know, it's a funny game that that happens. Next question is coming from Jason Quick. Coach, considering how well the Hassan Nurkic pairing uh, worked out for you, will you consider uh, starting that or, or using more of it in game two? Well, I thought Wenyon was very effective in the starting role. So uh, I don't anticipate changing that. But, um, you know, it was good to see that uh, Hassan and Nurk played well together. But I thought Wenyon in the starting lineup of both halves was uh, was effective for us. Next question is coming from Casey Holdall with Trailblazers.com. Hi, Terry. I'm curious if you could talk about Damian's fourth quarter. Uh, it seemed like the entire game he really didn't force anything, kind of let the game come to him. But then in the fourth, it seems like, you know, he, he really kind of not flipped a switch necessarily, but but kind of changed it up a little bit. Just if, if you could talk at all about Damian's performance, particularly in the fourth. Well, uh, I do think he was uh, a little more aggressive looking for a shot uh, when it was there, you know, especially he hit a couple of deep threes uh, and that usually keeps the defense pretty honest. But, uh, um, you know, I think Dame does a really good job of, of picking his spots, but, you know, the fourth quarter, he, he thrives in the fourth quarter and I think he generally uh, takes more responsibility in the fourth quarter. Next question is coming from Aaron Ventures with the Oregonian. Coach, once again, the ability to hit big shots late, especially from three, Lillard, Anthony, then Trent, 
uh, just can you talk about how huge that was and how can you guys keep pulling that off? Well, you know, I was really, I was really happy for uh, both Melo and Gary Trent. Um, you know, neither one of them were shooting the ball that well throughout the game, uh, but uh, the good ball movement, the trust, uh, you know, Melo hit a big shot, was a little deeper than he usually takes it. Uh, Gary got off this night and, and hit his shot. And the fact that uh, we trust, uh, trusted them and they trusted their shot. So, um, you know, we've won some games already down here in Orlando because of those type of plays and those shot making. So um, I just, uh, I'm glad that's part of our game is that trust. Thanks. Next question is coming from Jason Quick with The Athletic. Which I remember eight years ago when you were hired by Portland, I think it was Rick Carlisle who said that trust will be a big word that you use. Uh, do you feel like you still kind of uh, try to instill that in your teams or have you established that enough throughout your time that it's just kind of uh, goes without saying? No, I think it's, uh, you know, you, every year is a new year. Uh, you have new players. Uh, certainly having a, a nucleus of Dame and CJ uh, obviously helps. And then you throw Nurk in there who's been here for a little bit. Uh, there is a carryover from one team to the next, but uh, I think it's something that has to be continually emphasized. Next question is coming from Dwight Jaynes with NBC Sports Northwest. Gary, your offense has carried you through a lot of these games where you've just scored a lot of points and shot the ball well. Is it a real bonus for you? Is it a real plus to win a game in this big series shooting 39% from the field? Yeah, it is. Um, you know, anytime you can win a game shooting under 40% uh, is, you know, that means you grind, you grinded it out or ground it out, whatever you want to say. Um, and, you know, it was uh, – a difficult type of game, whether it's regular season or playoff game, is that you had to fight through some adversity, especially when you do count on your offense. So uh, it is good to win those type of games because uh, they're that much more difficult to win. Uh, another one coming from Jason Quick with The Athletic. <laughs> uh, Coach, can you give an example of how you get across your message of trust to the team throughout the year? Are there certain th sayings you have or ways you show it? Or how do you get that message across to them? Uh, a lot of times it's uh, reinforcing it uh, in video sessions. Uh, you know, I think I, I do like to reinforce the positive and showing what, uh, what it looks like and, uh, and why, it's, why it's effective. Um, you know, I'm sure that those two threes that uh, Mello and Gary hit uh, will probably be on the edit tomorrow because it's uh, as great as as much as you need individual performances in this league, uh, you need to reinforce uh, that it's a team game. Final questions coming from Christian Winfield with New York Daily News. Hey, Coach. Uh, just in terms of the grand scheme of the series, how important is it to set a tone in the first game and come out and get a win, uh, especially when you talk about the way you got it, you shot under 40% or were able to really uh, hold the Lakers to, to what they were able to score? How, just how important was it to set the tone uh, with this win tonight? Well, you know, it's a long series. You don't want to get ahead of yourself. It's, uh, you know, when you can gain the advantage in the series, uh, if you can win the odd number, Game one, three, five, and seven, uh, it bodes well. Uh, but we all know that it's uh, a lot can happen. So um, it's not like we uh, stole home court or anything. Uh, we're all in the bubble, and we need a great, uh, great effort next game. We'll wrap it there. Thank you, Coach. All right, thank you.